Okay, something else often neglected on the excavators is what I, uh, I believe they call it a slew gear. Anyways, it's located, at least on this link belt, underneath that panel. Basically, it's the inside of the ring where the, you know, the traverse gear rides in order to spin it. And it's supposed to have a fair bout of gooey goodness in there. And I just want to confirm that I have got, you know, the soft, creamy nougat so I don't get any of the glitter herpes that will sometimes come from dry gears grinding past each other. Just going to clean it up a little bit and go ahead and pop that cover off. We'll have a look inside. Ooh, bolts are good and greasy, and the grease on the end of them looks pretty clean. That's a good sign. Oh, look at that. There's be lots of good blue grease in there. I wouldn't say there's too much in there. I imagine I could use a little more, but it's also not dry and it's not all rusty and it's not full of, you know, horrible nastiness. So I'm I'm not upset by seeing that. That makes me happy. So it, it calls for a good high pressure grease of some sort. To be honest, I imagine um, even even a wheel bearing grease would be would be fine in there. But I'm just going to use the same stuff I use on my pins. It's just a low speed, high pressure uh, Molly grease. I know you wouldn't want to use molly on gear tooth normally or high speed bearings but I mean come on those are some big teeth and lord knows it's not high speed so anyways I believe they call it a slew gear and that is how you test it and you want to make sure it's got lots of greasy goodness in there because that's expensive so grease is cheap Metal's not.